Hello and welcome to Patio playing Day After Tentacle. In the last episode we changed the world. We got the Founding Fathers to put something in the Constitution that is pretty weird. And it is that everybody in America should have a vacuum cleaner in the basement. Exactly. So, what are we gonna do now? I am not sure yet. We need this contract signed from Dr. Fred, and that kind of made, made me... I don't know how to get that done. He didn't want to sign it. Sign it. So, um... But the common question of this video... Dude. <laughs> that's rude. Common question of this video is... If you could put something in the Constitution, what would it be? Make it weird. Nothing, nothing political or anything. Just weird stuff. Alright. No weird sex stuff. Just to be clear. Um. Okay, let's try that again um, with Bernard. Let's give that another try. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Okay. Okay, so read it first. Yeah, we uh, we tried that, that didn't work. But the whole human race is at risk. Sign it, or I'll get real mad. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Hmm, maybe some good old reverse psycholog psychology. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? Um... I'm getting Purple Tentacle declared insane and arrested. I'm starting up a petition to ban all tentacles. <laughs> what? So that isn't better than what he's doing. I offered Purple Tentacle a bribe and he took it. I don't think that's gonna work. I guess I can't. Hey, did you join a record club lately? Huh. I like the first one best. I'm getting Purple Tentacle declared insane and arrested. That's a good idea. But I need a note signed by a doctor. Oh. Hey, I'm a doctor. We're in luck. <laughs> oh. Well, good luck. All right. Okay, now we can use the contract. Cool. We can we can try that. Where did the vacuum cleaner appear? I thought I saw it appear somewhere here. Well. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Anyways, now the suit can go. And put. Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Yeah, I'm not sure what design she wants. All right. I guess when she's done with that, we can give them whatever we want. Um. Let's put that in the mail. Whoa! Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't <laughs> have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Which Operator, I get me a travel agent! This is an emergency! 
Well, guess who's got your checkbook? <laughs> okay, let's check back with the Founding Fathers. I don't think we're done there just yet. Let's see. I mean, obviously he needs a fire because he's cold. But what does he want? Let's talk to that dude again. Yo, Tom. Thomas! Um, how's the time capsule going? How goes the framing of the Constitution? How can I... Can you let Hong Kong suffer like that? Huh. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Hmm. How goes the framing of the Constitution? Great! George's suggestion about the vacuum cleaners really got the old creative juices flowing. In a few minutes, Washington's going to present his proposal to split the government into eight branches. Executive, judicial, legislative, bronchial, atypical, Freudian, elliptical, and extra crispy. <laughs> I hope they've got a good editor. Okay. Yeah, we asked him later, that, bra. that before. What? What's going to happen later? Okay, so if I remember correctly, we need oil and vinegar or something. And I have an idea, just talking about the time capsule. What well, if we give him the bottle, he puts it in the, the bottle of wine, he puts it in the time capsule and then it turns to vinegar. I think that's worth a try. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Alright. So. How about the fire? I think the... Okay, he's smoking. I have an idea. Back in the future. Or the present. We need, um... Where is it? The cigar? Oh, that's annoying. That he's always going there. And we need the lighter. Alright. So, back to Hoagie. <laughs> Let's try that out. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... Uh-oh. Incoming! Is it gonna blow? Oh, damn. Blast, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Oh, geez. So can we give him the horse stentures? <laughs> oh, they're gone. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I got an idea. Okay. We need him again. Chattering teeth. They will think he's cold. And then they're gonna light a fire. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. Jeez, I will build the I'm fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. <laughs> no, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. Two hours later. 
You big baby. Okay. Let's get that blanket. Um. Pick up. Hey, can we maybe use that as a design for the flag? Okay, so how do we get the, the pen? Smoke detector. Look at the smoke detector. It's a bird. It's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever. Huh. Can we, like, talk to it? No. No. Okay. Let's try that. Let us try... Where's that... Woman. Was she in here? Nope. Was she in here? Yeah. Let's try that. I've got better things to do. Okay, no. I guess. It was worth a try. Oh. Wait. It showed the chimney. Um. <laughs> I could see you, butt crack. Are, are there still Native Americans around here? Maybe we can make smoke signs or something. Oh, or we can make the alarm go off. Ah. Fire! <laughs> okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? <laughs> All right. Um, can we do we pick the blanket back up? No way. It could be on fire by now. Okay. Can it's we It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Jeez, yeah. It's a, it's a miracle how you fit through that window anyways. All right. So, we go back down. And uh, I hope we can breathe in there. And then we can take the golden feather thing. Cool. And now I don't know what to do. Oh. It crap. looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Oh, uh, hell no. Didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? <laughs> uh, uh, well hey, played. Catch you later. Well played, sir. <laughs> You're not as dumb as you th look. <laughs> okay. So, what do we do now? Well, let's check on Laverne. So, we're out here doing our business, I guess. Scalpel. Huh. I don't know, maybe we should, before it's taken from us, maybe we should flush it to, to, to somebody. There's not much more to do here. So... Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Hmm. Well, we can talk to him again. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Uh, get me out of here. This is a violation of my rights. I th I'm pretty sure they have established that they that humans don't have any rights. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I don't feel good, so good. Huh. We tried this. Maybe we can try that. Ooh, 
I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. <laughs> well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold Indeed. still. Are you going to use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Darn. You want to be cut? Hmm. Love how those tentacle what? pictures are so accurate, but the human one is like a drawing hmm. of a little kid. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> Why is there an English flag? Um... Can we maybe take that to get a weakness or something? Ooh. Holes. Anything else? Diploma. I shouldn't. He paid a lot of money for that. Who cares? They enslaved humanity. Well, maybe we can at least look at it. License to treat tentacles for the betterment of the tentacle race. And you want to save him money, really? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. I guess there's nothing more to do here. Oh. Let's talk to those guys. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. <laughs> what? A thoroughbred? That's quite a tattoo you've got there. Is your hair naturally blue? What are you, uh, guys waiting for? Hey, hold that thought. I've got a boogie. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your owner's going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Yeah. Sure. Obviously. Um... Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? Oh gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the air competition in the bag. Okay. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Cool. Can I meet him? Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. Alone. Well then, good luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? <laughs> That's true. Um, Maybe we can open that thing. Is it still... Humans aren't allowed oh. to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. Boy, I wish I had a tentacle costume or something, but I can't even sew. Huh. That's an idea. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's something for the next episode. I just had an idea, but we're going to explore that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. This has been Patia Yo with... Day of the Tentacle. See you next time if you want to know what my idea was. And, well, watch my other videos, like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and bye-bye.